The uh, elections uh, in Israel uh, were quite interesting, mainly because of the dramatic difference between the expectations and the results. Political scientists distinguish between three major sorts of elections, critical ones, uh, persevering ones, and reinforcing. The critical are the ones that uh, are a watershed. These are elections that have long-standing realignment. And Israel, in, in the history of Israel, we had only one such election, in 1977, when the Labour Party lost power after being in power for 44 years, started in the Zionist institutions and organizations in 1933, and lost power in 77, and the Likud took over then. So these were really critical elections. By the way, the Labour Party then had a world record of being in power in a democracy, 44 years. Second came the Social Democrats of Sweden, who were in power for 40 years. Everybody was expecting uh, elections that will be reinforcing. Namely, that the processes that we saw in Israel in the last decade will continue and will make a major change, dramatic change in the, in the public scenery. Uh, because of two reasons. One, because of the demographic changes. More young, religious, ultra-Orthodox kids are born. Uh, the Russian input, the, the, former, the former Soviet Union immigrants input on, in Israeli society. So it's the demographic change and an ideological change. A shift towards the right and a shift towards what we describe in the journal that we are now publishing in, in my institute, the, the, the Israel Studies Review, uh, religionization of Israel. More people are becoming orthodox, <laughs> moving, accepting religious perceptions, look at religion as a major factor in their, in their life. I will, I will describe that in a minute. So because of these two, because of these two trends, demographic and ideological, Everybody was expecting Netanyahu to win by far. His, coali his coalition, which had the religious parties and the right of center, so we, in general we call it the right, right wing bloc, had 61 seats in the Knesset out of 120. And the public opinion said he will get more. Even 71 compared to 49 that the center left will receive in the elections. So everybody was awaiting to see these we were sure that it would be a reinforcing uh, elections. And it didn't happen. The contrary. The Likud, the, the right-wing religious bloc, went down from 64 to 61 seats in the Knesset. And, uh, and the, the, so why did it happen? Everybody was surprised. Both politicians, academics, uh, the public, and the, and the public opinion uh, research institutes, who all of them envisaged a great success. What they did not do is to look into a very interesting public opinion poll, which asked a question that has nothing to do with politics. The question was, from whom would you buy a second-hand car? <laughs> and Netanyahu got 21%. Had they looked at that figure, they would have realized that this is what he will get in the election, which is more or less what he got. So next time when you look into public opinion polls on elections, don't look at the question, whom are you going to vote for? Look for other questions. 